Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Roger Clemens, MVP Baseball. Hey, I actually recognize that name. Ah, there's nothing quite like the art of games being named after celebrities. It doesn't happen nearly as much anymore, but back in the 90s, attaching a celebrity name to your game was a great way to drum up some sales. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors, Revolution X featuring Aerosmith, the celebrity stamp of approval was instantly enticing, albeit usually a sign that the game itself wasn't very good. And nowhere did this happen more than the world of sports games, as famous players would get their names on games all the time. Mike Tyson, Bo Jackson, Ken Griffey Jr., Daley Thompson, John Madden, and in the case of today's game, seven-time Kai Young award-winning MLB pitcher, Roger Clemens. And here's where things get extra fun, because yes, the developer sculptured software, and the publisher LJN got the rights to Roger Clemens, but they didn't actually get any other rights to players. This was a common thing, and sometimes game companies had to get creative in how they portrayed real people. In the case of this game and its many ports to the most popular retro systems, they got really creative. So you won't see Daryl Strawberry, Barry Bonds, or David Justice in this game, but you will see Raspberry, Barris, and Judge, just absolutely wonderful stuff. Let's hope it stands up in court. The box art features a great shot of Roger post-pitch. These games with celebrities attached always put them front and center, and it usually made them look as good as possible. Although, wait, is this the ball he threw? Cause I think it's going sideways. It's time for another trip to the diamond on the Game Boy. Let's pitch in with Roger Clemens' MVP Baseball. Endorsed with permission by Roger- Whoa, that went by so quickly. Roger Clemens, MVP Baseball. Press A for one Game Boy, press B for two Game Boys. I've never seen it put like that before. Alright, it's another baseball game. Let's see how it goes. West, East, West, East. Uh... Sure. Oh! Hey, I found Seattle. Uh, the Seattle Pioneers. Ah, uh, yes, the Chicago Red Birds. Well, yeah, let's go Seattle. The computer will be, uh... The Chicago Swords, sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, in this cutscene from King of the Hill... Uh, am I pitching or hitting? Okay, I'm pitching. Game. A. Okay. Uh, not as Oh! Whoops. How do I... Okay, you have to hold the direction. Okay. I like the different camera angle. What if I hit... Hold down and hit B? Okay. So, oh, oh, you hit B to throw to the, uh, okay. <laughs> Farewell, here, let me deliver the ball to you. Got it. Oh, that didn't count? I mean, graphics-wise, it's actually one of the better baseball games we've played. Again, one thing I've never liked about this game is the total lack of music. I really wish it had just some sort of, I know that they're going more for as realistic as you can get, on the Game Boy. Okay, so you hold different directions to correspond to the different plates. So left and B would be third base. And I think it's looking like if you hold up or down, it changes um how fast the ball goes. If we do up and then left. Okay, so you can influence the ball in midair. So the, the pitching is fine. The fielding is fine too. Oh, oh, I panicked. I really would like to get to the the batting now. Holding forward makes it go faster. Hold it back. Okay, yeah. It's all very standard baseball gameplay. All right, come on. Two strikes, two outs. We got this. Hey, yeah. No. Oh, darn it. <laughs> the world's slowest throw. There we go. All right, now we can actually hit. Okay, so there is a bit of a delay. Move around the box. Why was that a bunt this time? Oh, boy. Some, something tells me I'm not going to be doing very well at this game. All right, cool. Straight to the first baseman. Good work. Come on. I know I can hit one of these. Oh, that one actually went pretty well. I'm not going to hit anything. All right, I actually got on base. 
See, the problem with these baseball games, for me anyway, is that this one is not bad at all. I just, I personally just get so bored with these games. Mostly because they're all so samey. Oh my god, is that a home run? No, it's not. It's okay. It's already, I feel like I've seen everything in the game. And I feel like I'd seen everything in the game before we even started playing it. Because... I've played stuff like this so much. Up, oh, that should go to second. Or not. What? I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but it feels like the rules for what aims where change while you're playing. Gotcha! Okay. I at least can do that now. Now, all of that said, it does make sense that this game seems to have more of a focus on pitching. Roger Clemens was a pitcher, after all. And so, obviously, they want to make the game more about that. And you know what? That's fine. It's just, I don't know, these games... What? Oh, God, I'm in, mean, like, a horrible no-man's land with this ball. Oh! I actually tagged him out! Yeah, the game is... Oh, my God. Okay, that's gone. <laughs> Please enjoy this slideshow. It's... You know, I really don't have that much to say about this game. It's not bad. In fact, I'd probably put it in the upper echelon of the baseball games I've played for Game Boy Roulette. The problem is we've just... We've played so many of these, you know? And I just... I tend to find they all seem very... Very samey. I suppose I could look up in the manual how to do everything, but that would involve caring more about this game. Which, which is unfair. Again, this game is fine. I just, I can't get into baseball games. I've played so many of them. And they all seem so identical to me. But again, at the very least, this one seems to do more better than a lot of them. But here we go. This is the hit your mother warned you about. I mean, I didn't say she was warning you because it was good. Yep, it's baseball. I want to apologize in advance if I don't seem that enthusiastic about this game. I feel like I should be for reasons I'll get into, but on a personal level, I've always found baseball games to be the least fun sports games because there was significantly less innovation in them. Much like the other baseball games we've played, the pitching, hitting, and fielding were all fairly simple, with the controls changing as soon as you moved from one to another. The gameplay was all really solid, the graphics were decent, the lack of music was a bit annoying, and I feel like I've reviewed this game numerous times in the past, so I just can't get excited for it. And yet, at the same time, maybe the reason that baseball games don't innovate is because most of the ones I've played have been, well, pretty good games, and this one was no exception. While there wasn't any significant gameplay innovation, it was still completely functional and fun, giving the kind of gameplay you want from the Game Boy. So I can't get outraged at the game just because it doesn't do anything different or special, and focuses on instead doing baseball gameplay correctly. And there were even things in this game that I really did like, such as the multiple camera angles, or the more simplified pitching mechanics to keep the game accessible. So, maybe I don't have a lot to say about this game, but it's not because it's a bad game. It's because I'm just not into baseball games. Objectively, this is another really solid baseball game, and so if you like the genre, you're gonna like this one. Although, come to think of it, this game does have one thing that makes it stand out. It has the best Star Spangled Banner simulation on the Game Boy. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.